<laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm making Tic Vinayaka, which is um, a zucchini pita pie. Pita just means pie. It doesn't mean pita like pita bread, but that's what I'm doing. Um, it's basically what we know as like Bjorek, and that's what it's traditionally called. That's the meat filling. But anything without meat is typically just referred to as pita in general, or it has, like this one's called tikmaniaka because it has zucchini, but the one that has just cheese in it is a sernica. And then there's one for spinach, but I don't remember the name. So what I'm adding now is farmer's cheese, which is, I think it's a byproduct of ma making cottage cheese, or it's like similar to cottage cheese but it, uh, it's kind of chalky, and this is just for texture. It literally has no flavor at all. It's, you know, so it's just for texture of the actual dish itself. Um, and then we have a ton of other kinds of cheese that we're gonna be adding that will help bring out the yummy flavor of the dish. So. That's what we will be doing. Hell yeah. So, did you text my mom, by the way? I just, invited I invited her, her on did, Facebook. Oh, you should invite uh, Kate, because I told her. I did. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I want to talk to Fancy. I, I already went through and invited Everyone? a lot of people. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding cottage cheese. It's just your standard cottage cheese. I'm going to add all of this. Is it cheesy... Cheesy dish. Yeah, this is basically Cernica, but it has zucchini in it. Like, that's the only difference. Same thing with the spinach ones, which we've had the cheese one and the spinach one when we were in Bosnia, but we never had the, um, the actual zucchini, zucchini one, but I love <clears throat> zucchini, so I'm like, well... Yeah, that's a shame, because this sounds delicious. Yeah, so I'm like, well, I'll go for it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just adding cream cheese. Uh, there we go. It's just a whole block of cream cheese. Like I said, there's a lot of cheese. Here. We're cheesing it up. So, this should be pretty, pretty easy. This is the really easy part. It's literally just stirring stuff. If you look there, I've already um, diced, well, Brendan diced them in the food processor. Form. Oh yeah, it worked really well, which was nice. So. We haven't diced a lot of stuff before that's not really exciting so i try not to uh save people the time yeah yeah oh yeah it's like, look at that thump yeah i'm gonna walk away and throw this away real quick look at that our float so that's all the way too Woo, Kylum. could you actually grab the leash and put it on kylum Look at this. Where is it? Right there. Oh, yeah. Sit. Shit. Oh, I probably should have put the country in the, uh, yeah, you the description. I, want, I told you to. No. I said Bosnia and Herzegovina, and then you said yeah, and then you just didn't do it. Thank you. Yep. I don't know. It's fine, whatever. Yeah. Okay, um, get away, please. I hate it when he's when he's in my life. I he's, love him, but like, holy crap. He's begging for dinner. Okay, so then we're gonna add some feta cheese. Not like a specified amount, but just like some. Feta cheese is good, so we're gonna add as much yeah. as we want, which is a good bit. It's again, like, for flavor, but also for texture. Um, I didn't use all the farmer's cheese because it's like really tasteless. So I'm gonna replace the rest of this with this, uh, the rest of it with this feta cheese. So I think that will give it a better flavor, personally, because feta is really, really good. Look at all that cheese. Yeah, look at this one. Hell yeah. I love just the block of cream cheese. Yeah. All right, so that's probably good. I'm definitely going to eat some of this. Okay. 
Okay. Um, this is the recipe. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually very simple. Yeah. Nate also said to, hold on, my fingers, hold on, I have to clean myself. Nate also said to use um, a couple of tablespoons of sour cream, so I'm going to do that too. Right over that. And it's suggested. This brand of sour cream is kind of disgusting, so I'm not going to. I think within this stuff, it won't taste too bad. Like, it'll be fine, probably. Yeah, don't don't use the Whole Foods brand sour cream. It's not gross. the best. It's kind of gross. Which is sad, because it's like half the price of the good stuff. <laughs> but I guess there's a reason for that. I'm going to use all these eggs. The recipe calls for two to three. I wanted to use two, but I have exactly three left, and I feel stupid uh, wasting one egg. Because nobody ever cooks a single egg unless it's, like, for show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus Christ. You, you do it if you want, like, a side of scrambled eggs, which is... That's not even true. Well, I guess if it's a side, sure. Yeah, you're, don't tell me you're going to have a side, like... That one exploded. A bunch of pancakes and then, like, a full fucking two scrambled eggs. I probably would. If I was really hungry, I would do that. God. I, mean, I probably wouldn't finish it, because I'm mean. <laughs> yeah, you'd eat, like, half a pancake... Yeah, I'm really bad at and, that. And not even touch the eggs. I'm really bad at binging. Erica's like, I'm going to have a cheat day. Yeah, and I then can't proceeds have to eat this. like. It's just because I food. haven't eaten a lot. Like I can sometimes. It has to be spread throughout the day. Yeah, you you can snack as a cheat yeah. for your cheat days. So yeah, this is gonna be. Mm. I mean, that's I'm how I trying to mash up the cream cheese because it's really. I didn't take it. I probably should have softened it first. Probably. Um. Is probably what should have happened, but it's going pretty well. It's fine. It's kind of like a big mass. That looks disgusting. <laughs> this does? Yeah. Probably oh, tastes yeah. delicious. It looks like egg salad. That's a, yeah, it does. But like really yolky egg salad. So we're adding some mayo, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, just working on that cream cheese. Chonk, 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 yeah. chonk. So this filling will be super easy because after I'm done mixing these cheeses i'm literally just going to mix um the zucchini in there and then some salt and pepper i don't think anything else is needed in this dish because it's so cheesy <laughs> it's supposed to be tasting the pastry and the zucchini and the cheese not really much of anything else so which has got to be painful for you as someone who overspices it overspices in a good way everything yeah. goes crazy I mean, with spices and it always tastes delicious but that's the thing is, like, I usually do, but only if I feel like it needs it. In this mm -hmm. case, you know, like, last time I didn't add any spices to yeah. it, right? That's true. Didn't I not? Or no, I didn't add any spices to the, um... To something. Imidachi. Yeah. That's what I didn't add any to. Because that was, like, just got a little salt. I'm going to have to taste this. Yes, there's raw egg, but don't worry. Raw egg is usually perfectly safe to eat. It's only if you don't know where you're getting it from where it's not safe. Isn't generally the the reason you're not supposed to eat, like, cookie dough is because of the flour? It's more because of the flour, yes. But people still get weirded out. I mean, like, royal icing has eggs in it. I, I make stuff with raw eggs all the time, and it's no big deal. I like yeah. these eggs. They're local eggs, and I know the hens are treated very well, which is why I buy them. Well, so, there's also the stuff where it's like, I eat 13 raw eggs yeah. for breakfast. It's like, yeah, if that yeah, was actually... raw eggs, for the most part. It's yeah. safe. If it was legitimately dangerous, I don't think that would have ever caught on. Because that would be like, I yeah. eat 16 pounds of arsenic yeah. for breakfast. It's so like, why, why don't we... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's all I had to say. Yeah. No, I know. I, I think that it's overhyped because people, like, they don't want a liability if somebody gets hurt, you know? Yeah. Um. So why don't we talk about... Because uh, I'm going to be doing this because this pepper grinder is slow as hell. It's why really we, weird. Yeah. Why don't we talk about the country? Okay, um, yeah. We can talk about Bosnia. Yeah. So... Interestingly enough, uh, Eric and I went there as a part of our Balkans trip. And I'm going to have to move my phone to get... Yeah, I'll move it. Thank you. Because I don't want to put this... I, I know what I'm doing right now. Because anyway. mm -hmm. I don't want to put this book on the hot oven. That sounds like a terrible <laughs> idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's the book I... That's like my life's guide, that book. Yeah. I'm going to add the zucchini now. Ooh, there it goes. This bowl is like mm, just barely big enough. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna mix this in and then. Is zucchini okay for dogs? I think so, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I even like it. It's fine. It's only a little bit. Yeah. This is three zucchinis, by the way. (laughs) Apologies. Oh, is mom really not here yet? Nope. That sucks. Yeah, she hates us. She'll watch it later, though. I know she will. But yeah, so now I'm adding the rest of the zucchini and crying because this is a very small bowl. It is so full. We but have a fine. bigger bowl. That's, no, because look, this is perfect. Mm, true. Just hope things don't fall out. Yeah. So, Bosnia. And Herzegovina. And Herzegovina. So, uh, there, so the capital is Sarajevo. And uh, it's a cool place. We, we went, th- that's where we stayed. Oh. Um, they had a lot of crazy stuff there. Um, you should talk about it. I, I'm about to. Oh, there. Don't come for me. So, uh, so, probably the... Oh, mom says she's been watching and has sent comments. I don't see any comments, though. I see her as a viewer. I have not seen any comments. Yeah. That's weird. Mom, you're a viewer, but we don't see your comments. Hmm, weird. Eh, that's fine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, Bosnia and Herzegovina. So, so yeah, Sarajevo is a place where, that fun fact, it's the place where that Archduke Ferdinand guy from World War One got shot. Mm-hmm. We stood where he got shot. Which is turned into a tourist attraction, which is pretty weird to me, because it's like, somebody died, but okay. Yeah, it's kind of screwed up. Um, they were also, unfortunately, victims of genocide by the, um, what is she sending me? Oh, Jeff is wa- Jeff was watching. Oh, hi, Jeff. Like, why aren't we getting comments? I don't know! Because it says, there's a comment from Jeff that says, honestly, this is very stress-relieving. I don't know. I don't know why we're not getting comments, but I'm sorry, everybody. We won't be able to reply to you. Here, no, I got a plan. I think it's funny that Jeff is watching after, or was at least, after the like 50 million times you wanted me to invite him. I told you. Well, like I said, sometimes he's busy though. I don't know. So. Oh, Jeff said, thanks for doing this. As ever, you're completely awesome. When was this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, Jeff, I don't I don't know if you're still watching, but thank you so much. Uh good good to see you're here. That's so weird that you can't see it. Is it not is it like turned off? It's bugged. I don't know. I'm watching it on my phone so oh, we okay. can we can know what's going okay, on. Okay, cool. So we can we can see comments now. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, so I don't think I'll ever have to look at the recipe. Yeah. So I'm going to taste this for flavor. Just I'm not going to allow that to be seen. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, so they were, I I didn't finish the genocide comment, but they were, um, unfortunately experienced genocide at the hands of Serbians during the Yugoslavic era, and, um, that was really, really hard obviously for the whole country to deal with, especially because it's a weird and very unique country in that there's three distinct, what they would probably refer to as almost ethnicities living in Bosnia. So much so that they have, well, Bosnia and Herzegovina, they're different technically, but um, so much so that they have different governments that it's like a, instead of having one president, they have three, essentially. And there's one for each of the ethnicities. So that would be Serbian, um, Bosniak, and Croatian. Mm-hmm. And they so, each have a they each follow a different religion too, right? Yeah. So each and that's another thing too is they're each different religion. They're all some form of. I don't remember which one is rich, which so I don't want to start talking <clears> about it <laughs> because I'll be wrong and I'll yeah. offend somebody. But. Um, I know that it's like Catholicism, I can't speak, Catholicism, Orthodoxy, and then Protestantism. 
and I, you know, so that's really hard. So it was even tougher for them because they had Serbs that were living there. That was like one fourth of the Bosnian population, and the other ethnicities, so to speak, were being oppressed. I'm never gonna get what I want out of this pepper. It's very awful. Don't buy this pepper grinder. So. So it's weird because some of them work well. Some of them don't. This one is, like, broken. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it's not like there's really anything coming out. Yeah, I, I buy the same one every time, and sometimes they're good. Just buy a different one. Yeah, I guess I've got to. All right. I think that's good enough. I'm going to taste it one more time. If you want to, I'm just going to take it over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that tastes good. It's salty. It's good. Like Nice cheesy zucchini mix with yeah. some egg. <clears throat> It was a little more salt. And just because a lot of that cheese wasn't salted, the only one that was salted was the feta. So. Okay. That's good. There we go. So. Now we're going to do the next. Um, I need to grease this real fast. Excuse me, dog. The next step. Mm -hmm. This is a cake pan because this thing's gonna be round and spirally. Yeah, it, it looks um, very cool when it works. So when it works. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll get to see that. Oh, this will work. Some. Um, oh, Chow is here. Hi, Chow. It Good is happening to see again. You. It happens every week. I don't have a set day or time because I'm a wild card. It happens whenever we feel it like cooking. Whenever I feel like it. So this one I have to work pretty quickly because the recipe says that the filo dough will dry out if I leave it to air too long. That's why I kept it wrapped up this whole yeah. time. And that's why this tape is around it. It's very secure because It'll stop being, like, it's paper thin. It'll basically become a crisp, and then you won't be able to work with it. Yep, so the, the, so, the timer starts now. Yep. Okay. So, hopefully, I'm going to have to figure out. Let's see. Let's unfurl this. So, these are big phyllo dough sheets. Big phyllo. And we've got this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we've got this oil and water. I want to say mixture, but they're not yeah, really mixed. it's going to be sort of. An oil and water combination. Combo. That, uh, because, you know, oil and water don't mix, but whatever. And that's going to be used to kind of stick some things together. It's okay, yeah, already this is tearing. That's not on the fault of me. It's just, it's paper thin. Yeah, it's, um, it doesn't not get torn. So what it wants is you basically have out two sheets like this. And on the top sheet, because that's the only thing that's available, I'm going to rub it down with, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to softly and gently rub it down with this oil and so, water. I like some Bob Ross sure. painting. Like a Bob Ross watercolor painting. Yeah. And I don't want to hurt it, so I'm going to try to be gentle. I'm not a very gentle person. <laughs> Uh, Brendan could probably tell you that because he lives with me and I'm not, so. But yeah, so that feels weird and gooey. So now that that's weird and gooey, um, I'm gonna get my shit here. Ugh. Put another one down, right? Yes, I'm gonna put another one down <laughs> first, of course. Let's... Why would I not do that? <laughs> Stupid. Erica knew that the whole time. I knew that the entire time. I'm gonna be very careful. See, already this is torn. I mean, if you touch it, it tears. If you don't touch it, it tears. So just look at it wrong. Oh my god, okay. Try to, try to mash it up. It's not perfectly matched, but that's okay. Um, put that on top, and then I'm going to put a healthy smearing of this on the inside. Oh my god, that's fine. That's what the parchment paper is here for. Yeah. Good deal. I feel like it needs more too. I feel like I'm gonna underuse my stuff. Whoops! I need that. <coughs> All right. 
That looks pretty good. I think that's what the the recipe said. I don't know because I don't have the recipe. Do you want me to pull it up? Um. No, it's fine. So what's going on? So I'm wrapping it right now. It's like a burrito. It is like a burrito. Here, I kind of want to. God, we made tacos last time. Now we're making burritos. We did not make tacos. What? It, we made a, a, like empanada ass. Right? I right. mean, an empanada is just a taco. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, having this not tear is going to be ridiculously difficult. And Erica's um, going to slam dunk it because no, she's not. the best. It's already tearing beneath my fingers, so... Yeah, but that's why we have like 14 layers of stuff. Yeah. Oh my God, look at my hand ah. from the flower. All right, so this is like really big. Oh, that tore. Yeah, it is gonna tear, but. So this is actually, um, it's fine that it's tearing because what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna be layered again. So it's no big deal. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, this is gonna be a smaller one. And I think in the recipe she had like a lot, but we can save this and we can make it another day because it's super easy. Yep. So, but this is the only thing I have to bake it in. So it's just gonna be a small one. Mm hmm Not super huge. Will the phyllo dough, now that it's out, be able to be kept? You can refreeze it. Okay. Yep. That's why I kept the bag and that. Smart. Yep. I am smart sometimes. 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 Yeah, man, this might be a quick uh, video. It's going to be very fast, yeah. Um, mostly because, like I said, I can't make a lot of it because, unfortunately, it's just not, we don't have the room for it. Yeah, we don't, have, don't have a have big... another cake pan or anything, so I mm -hmm. can't make another one. So. It's all good. It is what it is. That just means we get it fresh next time yeah. rather than leftovers. Although, to be honest, uh, that's going to be probably at least two meals. <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty economical, I think. I mean, the cheese is kind of a lot, but like. I would say for the for the amount of food we're getting, like the the price to food ratio is not bad. It's not incredible, but it's not bad. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, that's tearing. Let's not do that. Oh boy, this whole thing. Gina is Spencer is watching. That's okay that this whole thing is torn though because that's why we're triple wiring yep. it. Hi Gina. Okay, this is a uh, woo. <clears throat> this one is not perfect, but I'm gonna own that. Hell yeah. And that's fine. I think this acts like a glue is the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And again, it's fine if it tears because it's basically all just like going to it's all just getting in on each other and you won't be able to tell once you cut it open. Yeah, it's all just getting stuffed in here. So like it'll cook and it'll be fine. Yeah. Gina says hi How with a lot of exclamation like? points. Hi, Gina. Okay. Oh God, that's right. This is like. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was stressful. That was a tough one, but you saved yeah. it. That was a good save. Okay. It was a good save. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Taylor's watching. Hello, Taylor. Oh, it's my Taylor? Yes, you're Taylor. Oh, no, we're tearing now. Mm. Yeah, this one is really messed up. It's all good. Stick that bad boy right in the pan. I'm scared to like... Okay. Oh, it's like dripping, dripping, dripping. It broke. That's fine. The dam is broken. They're all gonna break, to be honest. So it's and that's help. okay. Taylor says hi. Hello. Hello, Taylor. Okay, I don't want this to like burn and crisp on the pan. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more this way. Yep. Look at that. You got that zucchini. You got that egg. You got that cheese. Mm -hmm. All in some nice phyllo dough. Oh my god, this one just completely tore. You can toss it. Well, I need to measure. Okay, I need to see how many of these I have. Because, like, some of them um, are tearing. You have. Oh, see, it's already drying up. Yeah, oh my um, god. Okay. And the clock is on. Yeah. 
I don't think I have enough to make another. We can get another thing of phyllo dough. We pro we'll probably have to, regardless. Yeah. Gina says yummy, and we hope so. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just kind of struggling with, like, I don't have space right now. Mm hmm This one's kind of destroyed. Yeah, just toss it. Um. Your mom says she wants some. I'm sorry, there's shit everywhere. It's right fine. Now. Don't, don't worry about the mess. I'll clean I'm it. not worried about it. I'm just trying to not break this. It's mm -hmm. very difficult. Like, seriously, you touch Philo and it falls apart. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure that out. I'm going to get a third sheet to go on top and put that there and hope for the best. Okay. This needs to go somewhere else, actually. <coughs> this will go here. <laughs> it looks like cloth. It's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> it's like the parchment paper it's on. It, it is, except that the parchment paper doesn't break like That's this. true. I mean, literally, this is like so thin. Yeah, it rips so easy. Yep, and it's already. Gina says she loves seeing our dog, so we're just gonna have a short okay. dog moment. That's Hello, Kylum. Good boy. Hey, come on up. Yeah, good. Hey, puppy. Hello. Ooh, look at him. Okay, we're back. If there's anything else we want to talk about with Bosnia, we can. There's just nothing else <clears throat> I have to say about this because this is the. Um, it it was pretty cool when we were there. Um, we went on a a food tour. I don't know if you mentioned it. No, I didn't mention the food. Where um, basically there was a someone who was local. Uh, basically took us and another couple on a tour around the city. And we basically went to all the different parts, saw a lot of sites, and then tried food from a lot of the different areas. And it was really cool because um, kind of like Erica said earlier, there's a lot of like disparate cultures. Disparate? Yes, that's a word. Disparate? Yeah. I'm like 90% sure I'm using it right. I don't know. I've never used it. There's a lot of different cultures in... Uh, that's more me. I'm... <laughs> I'm not that big brain right now. Gotcha. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of different cultures in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina in general. And it's and specifically in Serbia, there's the old town and the new town where... In Serbia? Sorry. In the Serbian In part. Slovenia. Oh, in Slovenia. Jesus Christ. Are we talking about Bosnia? What? I'm confused now. What is the name of the capital? Why Sarajevo? Sarajevo. I'm having so much trouble. I'm so sorry. I was feeling so knowledgeable, and then I'm just and like, like yeah, I know so much. Yeah. Serbia, Slovenia. Yeah, no. <laughs> All the same. They're in Europe. Yeah. Uh, Gordon Goldhaber is here. Oh, cool. Hello, Gordon. But um. So, and so there's a lot of different cultures. So there's actually this like split where it's just like this one street where on one side, it's kind of a more modern area, and then on the other side, it gets very like. It's the old town. It's very traditional. Oh, yeah, the markets. Yeah. The bazaar. Mm -hmm. there, yeah. there was, like, straight up a bazaar. Yeah, that was really and cool. And it, it was very, very cool. And okay. it was really interesting because we got to try, like, kind of traditional food on either side. Just... And so we had, like, this sort of meal, the, the Burek type of meal here uh, on the new town side. And then we went to the old town side and had this, like, it was like a soup yeah. stew sort of thing with, like, onions and beans and it, it was all really good cooks, it should fine. yep so now it goes in the oven right that's it yeah i mean there's more and i do have pie plates i could try but it's probably not gonna work i think yeah i think it's better to save it. save it yep and so you want to put those things away i mean some of these are fine i think a lot of these are fine to use mm -hmm. i just don't know how much of them there are i think just put them away and we'll deal with that later we take to this there's three of them i think there's enough mm -hmm. here let me uh well 
Yeah, some of them are quite fucked up. <laughs> but... What are you doing? Were these just extra? Why were these here? Yeah, they were. Okay. <laughs> I think, because I'm like, I don't know why. Yeah. I think these will be okay. I mean, this one too, probably. Mm -hmm. No, it's in half. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yep, so we got some it leftovers. It tastes like paper. It tastes this. It's dry. It tastes open. like paper. Taste this. Yeah, it does in fact taste like paper. Thank you for having me yes. eat something it that really tastes like paper. It's dried out and you can't really move it as much. Mm hmm. So that's the thing, is when I first got them, they were like super wet. Yeah. And that is not the case anymore. Mm hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta fit these back in the bag. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Just put them in a big plastic bag. Or wrap them in plastic wrap. We might want to get more. This stuff is broken. Enough. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. just get, let's just get another box for next time. This stuff is not going to yep, cooperate. that's unfortunate, but that's life. Oh, well. And I mean, look at all this stuff we got left. We'll definitely yeah, make. I feel bad, but whatever. We'll definitely make this again with our leftover stuff, and uh, I guess you can see it go in the oven, and then we will see you guys off. It's going in a 435 degree oven for like 35 minutes or so. 35. There it goes. This can go right in there. So, so yeah. Uh, you will probably see a picture of this with Erica's post uh, in half an hour, 45 minutes. And uh, you'll get to see kind of what the end result is. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And, yeah, it was, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.